Hey, what's going on guys? Log.zip here. You like my new Iron Man suit? It's got some pretty <laughs> nifty powers. A whole lot of them as well. You're gonna wanna get your hands on this alongside every single other Avenger ability we have to show off in today's video. From Iron Man to Black Widow and even Thor, each one of these Avengers has their own unique ability that you can now use oh, in Minecraft. They're all courtesy of Professor Velvoxel Raptor, and if you want to add them to your worlds right now, you can check the description of today's video. For now, let's show you what they do in game. First up, we start with Iron Man. Hey, <laughs> just kidding. We're going with Captain America. We'll get to Iron Man soon. He's seriously cool. But, you know, Captain America's pretty sweet, too. Captain America. America! Awesome abilities right here. The armor and shield is crafted by throwing together a shield and a strength potion So that's all you'll need to do drop these two on the ground grab your new goodies Look at these the moment you put on caps helmet chest plate leggings and boots You'll be ready to go and you'll also have an unbreakable shield. You'll also look the part to you I look sick now you can't put it in your shield slot, but instead what I do is put it in your main hand because look what happens when you hold it. You get strength three. See this innocent cow? Just kidding, he's a murderer! Take him out! Seriously, I saw him robbing a granny. You know, America. But we can stick to some traditional enemies for now. You're literally given a strength three boost upon holding the shield, which will make most mobs three hit wonders in an instant. But look, you got a shield on, so you can spam click and not worry about the cons- I know, about the cons- well, you know, more importantly, if you sneak while holding the shield, you essentially go invincible. Look at this. No d in fact, I'm healing while they're attacking me. That's because when you sneak with the shield on, you get resistance nine. Nine. Resistance nine madness now stay away from me <laughs> Because we got one more power to show off when you right click with the shield get a load of this bam You can throw the shield and it will boomerang back to you dealing damage both on its way towards any nearby creatures As well as on the way back from coming look at this stupid <laughs> He think he can take on American though no. next hero Hulk this one, guys, literally so cool. Cannot wait to show you. Special chest plate is crafted by throwing together an iron chest plate and an emerald. Witness as you combine the two things that you shouldn't combine. Because <laughs> then you get a Hulk containment suit. And upon wearing the Hulk containment suit, well, nothing appears to be happening. However, the moment you sneak, look at me! <laughs> I'm insane! <laughs> and I'm kind of galloping around. Yeah, never mind all that. We are the Incredible Hulk. By sneaking down, you will go between both human and Hulk form. Look at that. And what's more, you have so many powers. Jump boost, strength, resistance. Look at this jump boost. Tell me more about this. Y'all, tell me y'all not loving this. Can we just stop and, I mean, really? Hulk smooth. Yeah. We literally jump so high up that we can get flying creatures. No problem. Assuming they do not blow me up. Y'all ready? Yeah. One hit wonder. Y'all ready? <laughs> he can jump so high up. Get back here, you guess. I'm gonna get him. We need to jump up to the top of this tree. And then I bet you we can get the ghast. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? No, no. Come on, baby. Come on. You know, we'll settle for the blazes. Die! 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 This is amazing. Just destroying the strongest boy in the land. Like, look at me. Well, I'm not right now. I'm on fire. Oh, he's near! Yo, I gotta get him! Come on, baby. What's good? No, 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 no. You think I'll go run? Get on my level! Oh, we just missed! Come on, guys! I want him so bad. I'm a. It just makes me angry. Whatever he says in the movie. Play with me! Yo, so fun just galloping about being Hulk. Yes! Hey, what happened to that cow? I was just. Oh, oops. I have beef in my hand. Well, not as uh, mad anymore, I suppose. Sorry about the tree. Next up, we look at Iron Man. Mr. Star, the most dashing and probably rude person on the entire planet. Iron Man's arc reactor is crafted inside a crafting table. Oh, you didn't know? This is the recipe. Place iron, glass, and another star exactly as you see it here to grab the nanite arc reactor. And upon doing so, you'll be met with some very interesting text on screen. Your head slot and offhand slot will be disabled. Do you want to equip the Mark Luxvi? I know it's numbers. I don't know how to say it. And so you'll click yes. And what you'll be greeted with is a brand new skin. This is actually the skin of Vel, the person that made this data pack. If you want it to look like you, you'll have to change the resource pack yourself. But if you're like me and don't care, all you want to do is suit up. Look at that, baby. Tell me you didn't love that. 
there is a whole transformation animation that you can see where you turn into Iron Man. And if you feel like styling on him, you can also just take the visor part off, which I accidentally didn't do. Here's how you do that. You see, just the helmet. If you're wondering how I'm using these powers, then direct your attention to the text at the bottom of the screen. Every time I scroll on my scroll wheel, we are met with different abilities that Iron Man has access to. Repulsors, lasers, weaponry, shields, and missiles. And as you saw earlier, Iron Man's got a lot of cool powers. We're gonna get through all of them, but look what happens to your arm when you go through some of these, or your armor itself. It looks amazing. Never mind the hobble, it's your eyes deceiving you. We got a mallet. We got big shields, we got shoulder guns, so many powers. Okay, first of all, let's get the easy stuff out of the way. We've got a lot of passive powers, invisibility, fire resistance, regen, and slow falling. And uh, did I mention, by the way, we can fly. All you gotta do is look up and you'll begin flying. And when you're in flight, you even have normal flight mode, or you can go ahead and activate the flight booster, which will make you go so fast, just anywhere you look. The moment you hit the ground, well, you'll go ahead and, ooh, sometimes suffocate. <laughs> or you've even got the flight stabilizer, which will keep you a little more steady despite all the rumble. And it looks cool. I look like, uh, skis. Ouch, that hurt. Yeah, yeah, the powers. We're gonna get to all of them. We're gonna start, though, with the repulsors. These do exactly what you think. They repulse. Wherever you right-click, mobs will get repulsed away. It's because you're so repulsive. Whoa, actually, that one came running by. That was wild. The next one is your wrist repulsor. It looks pretty cool, and here's what it does. It's a little bit different. You can actually take the enemies nearby and hold them in place whenever they're nearby. Look at this. Hold them in the air and then give them the fall damage. Yeah! You can only control really one at a time, but you can juggle them pretty nicely, and you can try and bring them up with you. Look at this. Goodbye! Yo, dude, you're coming with me. Okay, you think we're far enough, dude? What, you want me to let you down? Okay, see ya. Maybe we can beat him to the bottom. <laughs> oh, no, it looks like he won. Naturally, you've got your super repulsors, and that just pushes him even further than before. This one looks okay, but then you got the mega repulsor. Look at this guy. I'm ready to repulse. R repulse. What, what's the word? Anyways, look at him. Look how far. Goodbye. Very far. Next up, we got the laser, and we're gonna laser him down. Bam, bam, bam. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, oh, you gotta be. Cl oh, oh, it sets him on fire. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense, actually. I thought I didn't know it was like a laser. It's a fire laser. It's just, right. Hey, stay away. <laughs> Can also delete blocks. Yo, that's kind of crazy to be honest. Come on down, baby. Oh yeah, you wanna play? Maybe he wants. Oh, you know, the the spray. <laughs> The spray. Here's another power. All you gotta do is right click when you got spray on, and you will start placing blocks all over the place. You could, in theory, suffocate any enemies nearby if you decided you wanted to try and take them down. Okay, you want you want to eat some of these blocks? Wow, I'm like building a house right now. This is lovely. Welcome to Minecraft, everybody. This is episode one of my survival. Oh, I got the baby! Yeah, get him all young. Where'd he go? Oh, he made it! He's running. Yeah, good. Anyways, it's just as well. The next power is the grapple. You can use the grapple when you're near other blocks to just kind of hang out by them. And you'll be able to actually stand in place, and the other mobs won't be able to get you. See, I'm grappled to this rock. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna say right now, Iron Man's got a lot of powers. The other Avengers are coming soon. You can use your restraint power to keep a mob in place so that they don't move, and you can punch on them a little bit. <laughs> or you've even got your nano lightning refocuser. Look at this thing turn on. Can you all see that? Look at that. That's lovely. This one, though, only useful when there's thunder out. <laughs> How are the odds of us getting struck by lightning and thunder while this is happening? It's low. So I'm just going to summon some lightning on me. I don't know what I just said. All you need to know is that we just got hit by lightning. And now we're glowing and awesome. And we're going to go ahead and refocus this lightning energy on this poor mob nearby. Die. No one likes you. Oh, wow. It lasts for more than one use. Oh, this is great. I was trying to get some cooked beef tonight. Hey, come on, Betsy. Let's make it happen. Yo, how long does it last? What happened to all my food? Oh, the f nah. Next up, we've got some melee weapons. We start with the hand blade. This will give you a series of different types of effects. Strength, etc. Lovelies. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Hand blade! Yeah! Get it. We're gonna blaze through these ones real quick because they're all pretty similar. Energy blade. This one gives you a lovely speed boost. So you can <laughs> seriously, I love the running. It's the best. What are you gonna say to me? I literally, my hand is made of a sword. Energy blade. Very cool. One hit. Well, one hit on cows. How about you? Okay, you know that's it's good. Next, Qatar. 
I don't prefer guitar. I'm more of a violin guy myself. Yeah! Okay, this one's interesting enough. You see, you can do the same thing as the rest of them with it. But you get some cool abilities. Now we got the mallet. Bam! Love the animations, by the way. Mallet! Yeah! 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 Wow, you get a whole bunch of things. You get haste with this one. When you've got the mallet on, you've also got the haste ability, which will allow you to break blocks a little bit more quickly than you normally would be able to. So keep that in mind if you're ever without a tool. Whoa, I'll go crazy! Now we also have to show off the hammers. You get a nice speed boost when you've got these. <laughs> they look like I look like I'm galloping. You have so many things with those on. Did y'all see that? Oh, it all switched away. Okay, we gotta get to the rest of them. Okay, hammers. So many powers. Oh my, hammers! Hammers! Thank you. Look at this. Haste, speed, strength, fire. It's amazing. Get it. Yeah. Awesome. Next up, we got shield. We got a smaller shield, and it gives you some nice little effects, and then you got bigger shield, and it gives you the same effects, but, you know, better. No, seriously, when you've got the big shield on, you instantly get resistance five, which essentially makes you invincible. Leave me alone. No one wants you here. And our final powers, the shoulder missiles, the shoulder guns, and the back missiles. Nice from all sides. Essentially, when you've got your missile selected, you'll see that hostiles are highlighted in red. And what you can do there is lock onto them to eventually fire off and shoot missiles. Ooh, beautiful. All right, we've got three of them right now. We've got a little bit of a distance on them. Let's see how we do against these guys. What's good, babies? Y'all about it or what? Fire away! Oh, I think I'm out of missiles. <laughs> this is bad. Well, we can use the shoulder guns instead. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, y'all just missed it. I was firing off at him. There's like an interesting reload speed. It takes a little bit to get back to the action. We've got a few more targets now. Let's try the shoulder gun. That's right, just took one out right there. Don't mind if I do a couple more. Let's get it. Or if you're getting trailed, that's what the back missiles are for, baby. Back missile, back missile. No one likes you. Get away from me. No one likes you. Get away! Yeah, the back missile's a little finicky, okay? Move on. We're halfway done, my friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you can see further awesome Minecraft content. And let us know in the comments what hero ends up being your favorite. For now, we move on to Thor, God of Thunder. Yeah. We're going to be making Stormbreaker today. We're going to craft it by throwing together an Iron Axe and an Ender Pearl. So go ahead and drop these two babies on the ground and grab yourself a beautiful... Breaker of Storms. That's the storm, storm Breaker. Ooh, the Bifrost! It's already begun! All you need to know is that you can use the Storm Breaker weapon to summon in the Bifrost. Naturally, by looking directly to the skies, you will take to the skies and have the ability of flight. And if we go back down, you, you, you look down. It makes sense, right? But here's the part that's really awesome. We're gonna go ahead and... Oops, it's in this chest over here. We're gonna go ahead and make us some new enemies. Yeah! And check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. You can throw Stormbreaker! And it will summon in the power of lightning on any entities that crosses its path. Seriously, I'm trying to get some cooked beef. The weapon itself is not particularly strong, and you won't find yourself really using it for anything other than to summon lightning and kill enemies that way, because honestly, it's way faster. And, no joke, you can hit, like, so many... Cr like, watch, just, just watch. Look how many creepers we just spawned in. Look, they're all getting. Look how many. Do you see? Do you see how far back that goes? This ain't no game, okay? This ain't no game. I am the old time. Ow, ow, hey, it hurt me. Let's buy Frost out of here, everybody. <laughs> Away we go. It's basically just a really cool way to get around. Seriously, the color, awesome. Love it. Can we just stop and appreciate? You're all ready. Look at that. It's good. Two more heroes. Up next, we've got Ronin, a.k.a. Hawkeye. Now, depending on how closely you follow the lore of the Marvel Universe, you'll understand why both these names are on here. Meanwhile, I don't really know what the heck's going on. But I don't need to, because it's time to show you power. We'll have an armor and a sword that you'll get by crafting an iron sword together with some leather. It's a pretty sweet deal, to be honest. Instantly, you'll get yourself Ronin's helmet, Ronin's chest plate, leggings, and boots, and an awesome blade to boot. Oops, said boot too many times. Look, we got the helmet right here. Lovely. Looking pretty cool, might I add. The blade itself is quite amazing, but outside of the blade, you're left with not too much else to fend with. However, you can use it to great effect, attacking multiple creatures at once if they all happen to be nearby. And I gotta say, the weapon is very fast, 
and very powerful. Look at this. We are really fending back these guys quite nicely. They haven't really done any damage to me. Might have something to do with the fact that I've put on infinite health. But anyways, if you sneak, you get to put on a hood. And you look really cool. I look like I'm in a parka. Yeah, so this one's alright, but we've saved the best for last. Assuming you like Black Widow best. It's Black Widow! I'm keeping Stormbreaker with me for security. All you need to do is drop down redstone dust and two iron ingots to grab Black Widow's goodies. Ooh, look at this. You'll be given Black Widow's staff, and it comes with some very unique abilities. You can stun enemies with it. What's the good, baby? Yo, get stunned. Hey, hey, stupid. Ha! <laughs> Can't get me? I know. Oh, okay. Well, it does wear off. I should let you know that. But as long as you got them in place, you can always hit them again with it. And they can't do anything because they're just dumb, brainless zombies. And if you use it on anything other than that, well, you know, your results may vary. Now, important to know, it will not always activate. So you do need to keep that in mind. Get ready for a world where it doesn't. But most importantly, you can split the staff by sneaking when it's held in your hand into two. And now you've got another ability, the ability of speed. You get an awesome speed three boost when you've got this staff in both of your hands. And the best part about it is check it out. You can still use the sword and its stun ability or staff, whatever. If you put it back into full mode though, you'll be greeted with an awesome jumping ability which will give you an amazing three block tall jump boost. Easy for getting away from opponents or getting the grip on them. Whatever that means. Tell me, my friends, which Avenger has the best chance of taking on Thanos? And if you haven't seen what Thanos' gauntlet looks like in Minecraft, then make sure you click the video that's been on screen right now.